Okay, so we've gathered up all of our relevant supplies, and now we're going to go through the prepping and sorting process. So, before we dig in and start scraping off labels, um, it, it's important to kind of familiarize yourself with the Amazon condition requirements for books, so you know. So how it's going to work is we're going to take, it, take a book, we're going to remove any relevant labels, and then we're going to sort them into piles based on condition. And so the different conditions that Amazon has for books... Um, find it here. Are new, used like new, used very good, used good, and used acceptable. So I'm just going to read through those really quickly. A new book is just like it sounds a brand new, unused, unread copy in perfect condition. The dust cover and original protective wrapping are intact, if there are any. So, really, an Amazon customer, when they buy a new book, they want that book to be in pristine, gift giving condition. If it's not, some customers are going to be a little more gracious than others. But uh, many of them, or most of them, are going to be very upset, and they're going to want a refund for their money. So we hardly ever list any books as new, just because we know that even if it looks new now, it might not look pristine by the time it gets to the customer. And we feel like Amazon does take a really good care of the books that we send them, so we don't shrink wrap and poly bag any of the books that we send in, because we know that they, the way that they shelf it and the way that they handle it, they do a pretty good job. But if, if we have a book that looks new, we'll always downgrade it to like used like new, unless it is in its own shrink wrapping, like a brand new textbook with you know, multimedia items in it, and it's already shrink wrapped, and it looks great, then we'll do new. But it's very rare, probably yeah, less than 1% of the books we list. Uh, used like new is the dust cover is intact with no nicks and tears, spine has no signs of creasing, pages are clean and not marred by notes or folds of any kind, may contain reminder marks on the outside edge, which should be noted in the listings. So again, used like new is pretty much new. Um, it should it should maybe have a couple small indications that it's been read before or on a shelf before, but otherwise it should be pretty pretty clean. So typically if we find a book that's borderline like new, borderline very good, we'll just downgrade that one too. We'd rather the customer um, be, be surprised in a good way than in a bad way. We want to under promise and over deliver. Used very good. The bulk of our books fit into this category. Pages and dust cover are intact and not marred by notes or highlighting. The spine is undamaged. So uh, there can't be t if there's tons of notes, if there's if there's lots of notes, if there's lots of highlighting, if there's lots of other things you know that are kind of that show wear and tear in the book, then it's probably not a, a very good book. But if it just has a little bit of wear and maybe like a page or two here or there with some very light notes, but the pages are clean and crisp, um, the cover looks nice. That's going to fit into the very good category. Used good. All pages and cover are intact, including the dust cover. Spine shows signs of wear. Pages may include limited notes and highlighting. May include from the library label labels. Okay, so now we're getting to the more used books. But still, if there is highlighting, it's limited, and it's not obscuring the text in any way. If there's, if there's pages missing, or if there's some like, really rough highlighting or underlining, and it's ruining the reader's ability to read the words, then Amazon has clearly said in their conditions, uh, their condition guidelines here, that that book should not be for sale. And we'll find that I've even used acceptable, which is the last one, says all pages and the cover are intact, but the dust cover, must, the dust cover may be missing. Uh, pages may include limited notes and highlighting, but the text cannot be obscured or unreadable, so it's the same kind of thing, but uh, unacceptable. So if we, have, if we have a library book, I don't think we have any in this batch here, um, if it has a ton of those labels all over it and they you know, tape them all over, but the, but the book looks pretty good, while well, we usually, even though we could list it as good, we'll downgrade it to, to acceptable. Again, with the exception of the very good books, books that fit that very good um, condition guideline, we typically downgrade our books one step. Just just because the, not all customers are familiar with these guidelines, uh, we just want to make sure customer expectations are met. And the best way to do that is to uh, under-promise and over-deliver. We're going to get into the listing process. And this is basically how it works. I'm going to clean books. After I clean books, I'm going to flip through them really quick. And I'm going to sort them in, by category. I have, I'm going to make some piles up here on the floor to my left. So here's our first book. Some of the tools that are, are really good to have nearby is Scotty Peeler, as I mentioned before, rubbing alcohol, goo off, and then we have the heat element for those peskier labels. But this, this is what I, this is, this is how it's going to, there's a couple, as you can see, there's a couple small, these are my favorite kind of labels, but there's just one here and one here. So we're just going to slip this 
Scotty Peeler right underneath it, being careful not to damage the cover of the book. And really, depending on how long these labels have been here, the harder they're going to take off. So I, this one came off here. Pretty easy. This one off here too. Even though there's no price on here, it's just nice. It's just nice to get these off. They can come off pretty quick. And that's it. Grab the garbage can here. Okay. So then, what I'd quickly do after I scraped off all labels is just kind of flip through the book really quick to see if there's any. Marking. I don't see any marking at all. Zero. The pages look pretty clean. Um, you can tell the cover is good. I mean, there's a little wear down here in the corner, but the, I would say this book is in very good condition. I mean, you could argue maybe like new, but I think with this up here in the front, it would go very good. So next book, dust cover. Now this one has a much harder label on the back, and the, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that off by just scraping alone. I'm going to need to use some heat. So we're using a hair dryer. You might want to use, uh, you can use a hair dryer for it obviously if you want to use a more like uh, condensed form of heat, an embossing gun or a heat gun that you can get at Menards works really well. Also we usually have one that sits on a stand so it kind of sits like this and then I can just leave it on and ru run books underneath it and it just makes it much more efficient. But we'll do this here with it. With the hair dryer. I mean, the key is to hold it by the label for as long as possible, or really until the, the sticky adhesive of the sticker starts to let go of the book, and then we can slip in there with our Scotty Peeler and we can pull it off. I usually like to get it started, and then let it heat up a little more, and I just slow, I'm slowly working at it. And the benefit to this is if you, if you try to go too fast, even with some heat, you're going to leave pieces of sticker behind. If you do that, it's just going to be a lot of painful scraping. It's better, to, it's better to get as much of it off now as possible. Okay. Good. So you got the full sticker off. But what you're going to notice as you're doing this, even though I got this, the sticker off, it looks good, it's, there's still some sticky residue there. And so the easiest way to take care of that is to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol or lighter fluid. Put a, put a, a generous amount on a paper towel and just rub right around that area. And after I've done that a few times, I'll, I'll touch the surface, and if it, if it doesn't feel sticky, this one doesn't, then I'm done, I can move on. And then I'll take that, I'll use, I'll reuse that paper towel there. But then I quickly look through the pages, like I did with the book previously, and I don't see any highlighting or marks. Now this would also be a good time to take out any bookmarks, if, if they happen to be in there, or undog ear any pages. So I'd say this book is in very good condition. It does have a little bit of cover uh, wear, you can see up here in the corner, on the dust jacket. Uh, obviously, again, it's a, I think it would be a, a borderline like new, but because we're going to be careful and because uh, we understand people's perception of like new is to be maybe a little higher than what Amazon thinks, we're going to do very good.